I'm gonna show you how to do a quick slick back ponytail. Let's jump right in. First, I'm just gonna wash my hair and condition it also. And shampoo it with cold water, of course. I'm gonna comb through it starting at the ends as to cause as less breakage as possible. Okay, that was quick, but I also conditioned it too. I'm gonna go right in with some leave-in conditioner after I've gotten out the shower. I wanna make sure the whole head is conditioned, including the back. I'm gonna use the big tooth side of the comb just to work that conditioner in. And since I've already combed it from the bottom, it's okay for me to start at the front. My hair is kinda coarse, so it's gonna take a lot of combing. The look I'm going for is slick, as slick as I can get it. I'm gonna go in with the brush and go over that here, just to get it slicker. Get the back, the back, the neck is very important, okay? We don't want beady bees, no beady bees. And that's jam, I'm gonna go over my conditioner with some jam just for extra hold. And brush again. Now some people say don't brush your hair while it's wet, but I think it's okay as long as you're not doing this like every single day. Every blue moon is okay. And I'm gonna comb it some more just to get all the kinks out. My hair is super short. It's maybe like, I don't know, a couple inches long, like three inches long. So I'm just getting to the point where I can fit it in a ponytail. I don't know, I, I think I have like compulsive cut fever. I'm always cutting it. My goal is to let it grow out though. So I'm gonna put it in, put my tiny little hair in the ponytail, slick back ponytail, more combing. All right, so it's gotten to a point where I can put it in a twist tie. And I'm gonna tie it, twist it, And some more jam now that is tied down in the bag. Again, we want to get it as slick as possible. So I'm just going to keep jamming it and brushing it back. I like the jam because when it dries, it still leaves your hair looking moisturized and shiny versus gel. It kind of, kind of dries it out. I try not to use gel. And I'm just gonna blow dry it so that it will stay in place. Most people like to tie their edges up in the front. And as you can see, I don't do baby hairs. Um, I'm in the auntie stage of life, so I have given up the baby hairs. I won't say I won't ever do baby hairs, but I'm just gonna skip baby hairs for this part, this hairstyle. And I'm gonna blow dry it. I don't wanna leave my blow dryer in one spot for too long because that can cause heat damage. And boom, there's my ponytail. So the whole goal of me, the whole purpose of the beginning part was to get my hair texture to match the hair texture of the ponytail. Ooh, look, 
Yeah, I think I did that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put the pin in there. You see it? And draw that ponytail back. Pull the drawstring. I tried before to wrap hair around it and it just, it almost made the ponytail fall out. It was just a hot mess. So I'm not gonna wrap hair around the ponytail this time. And here I am with makeup. So this is the final look with my makeup done. The ponytail was slicked back. It's a drawstring. I think it's matching my hair texture to a T. And your girl is feeling it. No baby hairs this time. I wanted my hair to look wavy, just like the ponytail. And I'm ready to go out. You can wear this look for a date night. You can wear this at work. Anywhere. I even wore it to the gym. I mean, I got some crazy looks because it's a real big ponytail but I mean if you have the confidence you can wear it anywhere it's your world they just living in it your girl's happy I'm happy with the outcome tell me what you think any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to leave them below. Thank you.